In this one, we have in each entry of the matrix, we have a shape consisting of three leaves. And we can identify them by the shape. This one is the same as this one and this one. This one repeats here. And the final one is this one. So it's, it's obvious now that each shape is represented in each row and in each column exactly once. So we need a blue one here. So we can rule out a number of, of these. We can rule out this one, this one, this one, this one is a blue one. This one can be ruled out and this one can be ruled out. So it's one of these three. And it's tempting to think of, 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 of considering the, the direction of, of, of the leaves. So for instance, if we look at the, the, the red ones, we have a middle leaf that's pointing upwards. And we have a middle leaf that's pointing 120 degrees clockwise. And then it's rotated here, 120 degrees. So 120 times three is 360. So you can split up a, a circle of, of directions in, in these th three directions. It would also suit, suit us here. We have down right, down left, and we would have upwards here. But, but we, we run into a problem in terms of, of the, the purple shapes here, because for instance, this one points upwards, but if it's, it's rotated 120 degrees, it's just going to repeat, but it, these are obviously not repeats of the first one. So we have to figure out another rule, or actually we don't, but because this one is the right one, but there's a different reason for it. <clears throat> if we check carefully, we can see that each cell of this flower is filled out once by one of the, the red shapes here. So for instance, here, the top cell is filled out, but it's not filled out here, and it's not filled out here. The next one is filled out here, but not here or here, and so on. These three purple ones all together fill out every cell once. And for the blue ones, we need this one to fill out the three remaining cells that are not filled out yet. So the answer is D.